Hello, everyone. Hey, Welcome to Music Mondays. So this week, um, we had a very, very sad instance happen. We just recorded a f- like almost 45-minute episode about oh, Greta Van Fleet. About Greta Van Fleet, and the video was not recording. We have all so, the audio. We yeah. have an episode for you. Yes. And we're not going to re-record because... We, it was a banging episode. <laughs> we <laughs> actually... You guys would be proud of us. We actually talked about the album the entire time. Yes. Um, it's just... There's no video component. Yeah. But we want to upload something to YouTube because we know people like it. Um, and for consistency... So, Mm -hmm. this is our intro. (laughs) Hey, so what we're going to do instead, really sorry that there's no video, but just, you can go to Spotify, Anchor, wherever, and get the actual episode, all the audio, and then we're going to put the audio over, like a video, we're just going to have our logo Mm -hmm. fill the screen, and when we do, we have a lot of things that we wanted to like put in and flash up that we talked about. Mm -hmm. When that happens, we'll throw it in there. On a full screen, I guess. Yeah. We don't really have time to record another episode, and we've had to re-record before, and it's always way, way worse. It's always so, like a quarter of the quality of the episode that was recorded yeah. before. And we're actually really proud of this one, which sucks because it's like the... Uh, it sucks because we're like really proud of this one. There's no video, but like we're going to give it to you anyway. Yeah. Because we're proud of it, and we have the audio, so we might as well give it to you. And we so. wanted you to see Leah's wearing her Zeppelin shirt. <laughs> I am wearing my Zeppelin shirt. I'm wearing my fuck Trump shirt. And we described that <laughs> in the video. You'll hear it. Also, for reference, audio. fry me an egg goes like this. <laughs> so you'll understand it if you watch, if you listen to the episode. I just want you to know that's what it looked like. Yeah. Okay. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, thanks for being patient with us. Sometimes we have technical difficulties, but we're trying our best. So we hope you enjoy this episode about Greta Van Fleet. Get into the audio. Get into it. Hi, guys. I'm so sad. That sucks. God, I'm pissed. I'm just so mad. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Music Mondays. Hey this guys. week, we've got a shit show for you. It's going to be a long one. Grab Again. a snack. <laughs> grab your iced coffee. Drink along with us. Mm-hmm. Because Cause we're doing Greta Van Fleet. Yeah. And I wore my Led Zeppelin shirt and to I, be a petty little turd. I wore my fuck Trump shirt <laughs> because tomorrow, Tuesday, November 6th, Yes. Is election, election day. day. Get out the vote. Fucking kids, vote, guys. Please. Just go vote. <laughs> Just fucking do it. It doesn't if take that long. If you're not old enough to vote, can make sure that those in your life that are old enough to vote are voting. And if you're not old enough to vote, pay attention to what's happening now. So that when you are old enough to vote, you can make educated choices. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. Yeah. So now that we've got our go out there and vote. Yeah. Like PSA out, we can now. Vote. Should I put a picture of like the I voted sticker? Yeah, actually right here, put the I voted sticker and then also put the link to um, Vote Save America in our bio. And right here, go to Vote Save America. It's a really good resource. Um, It goes by, it tells you everything that you need to know about your district and the people Mm -hmm. running and all of that good stuff. And the other thing is, you can look up your, um, wherever you're registered to vote, you can look up their sample ballots and yes. you can see what your options are. And then it's real easy to just have that pulled up on your phone and then Google the names and see what they're about. Yeah. Not hard at all. Not really at easy. All. So do it. Okay. It's just um, like, could it be easier <laughs> to vote? Yeah. Okay. So we're talking about Greta Van Fleet. And I'm going to preface this with, okay, first of all, I'm really excited to talk about some classic rock because, you know, it's dumb to do a music review about something that everybody, like, we're not going to talk about, like, Queen, because if you don't know about Queen, then, like, I, I can't help you. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> and, sorry, you suck. I don't know. It, it, you're just done. Um, but I am a, I am a Zeppelin fan. Um, my dad raised us on this and at first when I heard Greta Van Fleet I was like cool yeah it's cool they sound like Zeppelin this is like our band this is our generation's band to grab on to blah 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 and then I looked into it and yeah. now I'm mad <laughs> yeah so I'm not gonna say that I don't like Greta Van Fleet for what for what they are fine okay fine are we recording it looks like we are sorry yeah, I just, we are I got distracted okay um <laughs> 
We just today figured out that we can turn the monitor to face us. We've known it swivels. For, I, I've worked here for almost a year. Not almost, but like, nah, it's been like eight months. And I've I worked just, here for like three. Yeah, we just figured out. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the more I looked into the band, the more Sorry. mad I got your mind. <laughs> because here's the thing. I'm kind of indifferent. Like, I think they're good, and I enjoy their sound. But it's because when I listen to them, it's like I listen to Led Zeppelin. Like, like I'm listening. Yeah. Present tense. Um, and on, on last week's episode, Jake was like, down with Greta Van Fleet. And I was like, oh, Jake, why? And then I was like, I know why now. Because I delved into a little more. I understand both sides of the argument. For once in my life, I understand an argument on both sides. Is that yeah. Funny? Was that a funny No, joke? I do. And I... I don't know where I fall yet. Mm-hmm. I don't know where I fall on the down with Greta Van Fleet to I enjoy this scale yet. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm still in the middle because I enjoy it, but I also wish they weren't doing what they're doing. Here's, here's the thing. For the I, reasons that they're doing I don't want to say down with Greta Van Fleet because they're making their own music, their own music. Yeah. Whatever. Here's the thing. So I guess let's just, let's just get right into the controversy. Let me talk. A, let me talk a little bit about their like history, and then we can like dive deep into the controversy. Yeah, because I have let's do that. so many things to say. So they were formed in Michigan in 2012. Mm-hmm. Um, three brothers: Josh, Jake, and Sam Kish, Kishka. I don't know how to say that. And then the drummer Kishka? Danny Wagner. Josh is the lead singer. Um, they signed to Lava Records in March 2017. Released debut debut EP Black Smoke Rising a month later. On their debut single Highway Tune. Topped Billboard's mainstream and active rock charts four weeks in a row. I haven't listened to anything but this album because you're gonna listen. I've, just listen to Led Zeppelin. Like, <laughs> okay. A friend of mine has seen them live in concert, and it was off of their AP, and he okay. said that they're great, um, and he enjoys their music. Yeah. Um, but this album that um, yeah. Anthem of the Peaceful Army was released October nineteenth, so like a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. It's brand new. Um, when the Curtain Falls, which is my favorite song off the album, Mine too. Um, was the single that was released in June. That one slaps pretty hard, but it's like, I mean, if you could like give me this song and I'd be like, oh, Robert Plant is making new music. Y- you know, yeah. it's like, it. my issue with it, okay, so let me get into the controversy. So I was doing some research. So the band supposedly said they did not set out to be a rock band. This was just the sound that happened when they formed. And I was like, bullshit, you sound like Led Zeppelin. You cannot tell me that you're not trying to. What we're going to do in editing, we're going to put their black and white picture that's on their Spotify right here. Tell me they don't look like a goddamn 80s hair band. Yeah. They Tell do. me they don't. They absolutely do. And then they also said, the lead singer Josh said that his Robert Plant-like voice is not what he was going for, and he didn't even know who Led Zeppelin was until he was in high school, and his singing voice is just like that. And I'm like, bullshit! You, okay, you don't just accidentally sound exactly like Robert Plant unless you are trying to do that. And then... You also don't dress like this unless you listen to classic rock and idolize. Yeah, hair bands yeah like you don't dress like this you don't look like this you don't sound like that you don't yeah. create music like that unless that's yeah. what you listen to yeah and like the very first song um army of is it called army of age of man age of man is the first track on the album mm-hmm. the first lyric is i wonder lands of ice and snow which is a direct ripoff from the opening of immigrant song and it's like there's they're not crediting led zeppelin even as an influence but than doing stuff like that. And I'm like, you guys, this is not subtle enough for you to get away with that. You know what I mean? It's like, if you were like drew some influence from Zeppelin and you're like, well, it's not really what we're going for, but we do like them and we do draw a little bit of influence from them. Okay, if you are com- making music that is 100% in the style of Led Zeppelin, like my roommate Megan, who introduced me to this band, showed, there was a, there's a video like a, YouTubers react video. Sorry, I'm getting really, I'm getting heated do because I've been, I've been do. stewing over this all week because it's just like pissing me off. Um, 
there's a video where they show like people who grew up listening to Zeppelin. Um, like they played them songs side by side, and there were times where they're like. Oh, I don't I don't know who that is because they, they were like who is this Greta Van Fleet or Zeppelin and they were like I don't know I don't know so if you cannot t- it <laughs> like, is almost indis- indistinguishable it is and it's like and I found an, there was an article that Megan sent me um that I read uh, at like 1 30 in the morning and just then laid awake and thought about it um <laughs> it, it made a really good point because it talked about there was like a swing music reboot in the 90s or whatever yeah. And everybody was like, woo, about it, and it was fine. But their point was, like, because that's kind of what Greta Van Fleet's trying to do, but the swing music, it was, like, that wasn't fresh anymore. That was off the airwaves. That wasn't being cycled around. People still rave over Zeppelin. Yes. That's still in the forefront of everybody's minds. Like, Robert Plant, he's still here, you know? He's, yeah. like, still doing stuff. So- like... I'd love to say that the well, <laughs> this sounds bad. I almost said I would love to say that the ghost of Robert Plant is with us today, but that also makes it sound like I wish he was dead. I don't wish he was dead. His, his I spirit. do wish that they were gone and not able to make music anymore mm-hmm. at all. Like Robert Plant was not here to make music anymore. And so... Greta Van Fleet is like, oh, the world is now missing this incredible voice. My brother kind of sounds like that guy. Yeah. Maybe we should make rock music. Yeah. And, like, be... Okay, listen. If Greta Van Fleet can't make it big doing what they're doing now, they'd have an incredible career as a Led Zeppelin cover band. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, my thing is, if you are going to... And like Chris said today, what was the song that he said? They ripped off, like, a drum beat. It's the same. It's the same same thing. The exact same thing. And they're not crediting them at all. Like, even, they're like, oh, yeah, he was an influence. Like, Zeppelin was an influence. But, like, I didn't even know who they were until I was in high school. Which, first of all, how? Okay? How did you get away with being alive that long and not knowing who Zeppelin was? Um, But, like, I lost my train of thought. The th- yeah, like like this article said, Zeppelin is not off the airwaves yet. They're still going. Our generation still listens to them, like a lot, and and like like Jake said last week, why would you listen to Greta Van Fleet when you have? You can go to Spotify, search "This Is Led Zeppelin," and you have like every song that they've ever done, including all the commentaries. You know, it's just like, I get it, I get it. Um, I. So here's where I stand on Greta Van Fleet. In my middle. Actually, let me talk about something before I get to that. Along with your swing music thing, Mm -hmm. look at Leon Bridges. Mm -hmm. His first album, which did you listen to any of that when we were doing Leon, or did you only listen to Good Thing? I think I just listened to the new album. So his first album is heavily, heavily influenced by music of the 60s. Mm -hmm. And it's the music that his grandparents listened to and he a lot of his songs are about his grandparents and their lives and how they met and how they fell in love things like that no one is making music like that anymore Mm -hmm. and no one is listening to music like that anymore which is why when his music came out he blew up Mm -hmm. because people were like oh my god this music makes me feel so good and i didn't know that i was missing it yeah that is not the case with yeah. Greta Van Fleet and Led Zeppelin. Because people are still like, ooh, I have an itching for some classic rock like right now. I'm going to put on Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Like, I mean, if, if you don't, like, even if you're not, like, a diehard fan, like, Immigrant Song comes on and you're like, ha, 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 Like, it was a yeah. Shrek. Like, I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. That was a really gross thing I just did there. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> but, like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, people... It's it's not it hasn't died out enough for yes. this to be something that's really that acceptable. And like other than on like XM radio, there's no FM radio station that is playing what Leon Bridges was putting out. Yeah. There are endless amounts of classic rock stations yeah. that have so many listeners. Mhm. So you can't like, is that the radio station that Greta wants to be on? 
Yeah, like, but do they, they want to be on the classic rock station? Yeah, exactly. But it's like, but you're, but you're brand new. You so can't, you're not technically classic rock because yeah. you can't be on a classic rock station unless your music's twenty years old. <laughs> yeah, because you're not a classic yet because you've been a. I've been my ASMR. Yeah. You've been around for like seven months. Yeah. So I. Uh, <clears throat> so here's where I stand on Greta. I think their music is good. Good. Mm -hmm. Look at it without, like, Greta by themselves with no other music. You've never listened to any other music ever. And you listen to that, you're like, oh, this is good. And say that you have listened to other music and you're a fan of Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. So I asked my dad earlier today, I said, how do you feel about Greta Van Fleet? He's like, oh, I really like them. Mm -hmm. I said, why? And he was like, because they're a ripoff of Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. And I said, so you like them for that? He's like, yes, because I will never, ever get new Led Zeppelin music, but I've wanted it. Yeah. And this is giving me that. Yeah. Yeah. My dad, I mean, he didn't, like, go, we didn't have an in-depth conversation, but, like, I sent him, I just, I just texted my dad, I said, go listen to Greta Van Fleet. Like, that's all I said. I didn't give him any context. Yeah. And he was like, that's cool. They sound like Zeppelin. Like, yeah. like, that was his first reaction. So, like, yeah, when I sent my dad, my dad and um, my godfather, Tony, we all sent music back and, back and forth to each other. I sent the album, and I, my dad responded, I've listened to some of their stuff before. Modern day Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, like, everyone's first instinct when they listen to it. They're like, oh, this is Zeppelin. And that's, that's my other thing, because there are some, like, I'm not, I'm going to be a pretentious asshole for a second, and that's, like, I'm going to be a music snob just for a minute, but sometimes I'm allowed. And I'm also going to be one of those that's like, well, I was born in the 90s, so I'm so much older than you. But it's like, I feel like the people that are really, really, like, raving about this, and not everyone, like, because a lot of people... Most people that are they're, that like them, they're like, yeah, because it's because it's like Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. um, how many times can we say Led Zeppelin? <laughs> I don't know, but you spelled Zeppelin wrong Did every I? single time that you typed it on this document, and it made me laugh. I just read. I'll, you just I'll forgot the fine. E every time. I'll be fine. I have, a, I have a fun fact about them anyway. Okay. Um, but some people like I like saw something on Twitter, somebody like getting mad about someone. Someone's comparing them. They're like, oh, you just think the band sucks, and I was like, we never said that. Those are people that are probably, like, 15 and 16 years old, have no idea about... No offense, you guys, if you're 15 and 16. Also, Carly, I, I, I exclude you. <laughs> a lot of, like... I don't know, because, like, we weren't alive then either, but, like... How do I say it? Like, they're not listening to this through the lens of a Led Zeppelin fan. They're just, like... This is cool and different sounding. Do you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Like, if you're going to listen to this, you have to listen to it through that lens of a Zeppelin reboot. Mm -hmm. You can't... I don't know. Somebody tweeted. I just searched the hashtag Greta Van Fleet. Somebody tweeted, Greta Van Fleet is a terrible band. They're really, really bad. They deserve all the hate they get until they're able to make interesting and original music. Their fans would rather listen to the same old, dusty, trite music from nearly 50 years ago, so their opinions mm -hmm. don't matter. That's a little mean, but I don't. Th I don't think that I. I don't think they deserve to be like hated on because like I like I appreciate what they're trying to do. My, I guess my biggest issue with it. If they came out and said, yes, we are huge Led Zeppelin fans, we are directly influenced by them, Robert Plant is my idol, yes. I'd be like, fine. Good for you. But the fact that they are pretending like they have no idea what anybody's talking about when they compare them. Robert Plant himself was like, you guys sound like us. Yeah. And they're like, what? It's like, don't pretend. You have their lyrics in your opening track. Do not pretend like you don't know what people are saying when they compare you to them. Mm -hmm. Like that's, I need to take a drink. I'm getting so thirsty and heated. I need to grab, I asked this guy that I follow on Instagram, um, 
he like posts music reviews on his Instagram a lot and like just talks about music that he likes. And I asked him, I sent him this morning, thoughts on Greta, Greta Van Fleet. And he sent me something that I think I should read. Mm-hmm. And I threw my phone earlier. While you do that, I want to play you. So is it when the curtain falls has the same opening chord as Hard Day's Night by the Beatles. Okay, I'm going to play it for you. Ready? Okay. That was, that was Greta Van Fleet. Now this is the Beatles. <laughs> it's just so... Okay. That's, a whole, that's another thing that I just wanted to just bring up really quick because I, I heard that song for the first time and I was like, ow. <laughs> so I said, thoughts of Greta Van Fleet. He says, I totally understand their appeal. Me too. Mm-hmm. They are great at what they do. True. However, they have a specific sound that, when I am in the mood to hear it, I will reach back to the classics for. Me too. Mm -hmm. I hear that they are hated by some. I don't count myself in that group. They just don't fill a void for me. I don't need to hear their album, although I have. Yeah. Perfect. I think that was a concise way. Yeah. That all of my yelling was unnecessary. I'm sorry. No, it's good. (laughs) But that was like, that was, that he just, he covered it all right there. Yes. For, they're fine for what they are. And I do think that it is cool that our generation now has a band like that to grab onto. Because we're never going to see Led Zeppelin in concert. We're never no. going to see, like, The Who in concert. Like, we're never going to see those people in concert. So it's kind of cool. Also, this is this is a thought that just entered my brain. Do you listen to Rush at all? Yeah. I mean, Megan, not regularly, but I know who mm-hmm. they are and I know their songs. Megan says that she hears a little bit of Rush in this guy's lead singer. I could hear that. I don't know if I really do or not. Comment down below if you think that you hear Rush's lead singer because I get it. I, me... I guess I just can't personally find it. We're gonna get copyrighted. Unless it's under 50 seconds. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can I guess, hear it with yeah. the like, like yeah. those, I can hear it mm-hmm. for sure. Also, love yeah. Tom Sawyer. Um, also, can we talk about Rush for a second? God, I love them. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Did you see their picture on here? That's fucking hilarious. I'm so good. <laughs> they have less monthly listeners than Greta Van Fleet. That's... Rush has 2,024,144 monthly listeners. No. Greta Van Fleet has 3,114,006 monthly listeners. Let me look up Zeppelin and see how many they have. Okay, they have 10 million. I was going to be really mad if they had... How many somehow. does Zeppelin have? 10 million. Okay. Three something... That makes sense. Over 10 million. Yeah. Also, what what was the song? Okay, there was a... It was... It, was it... Oh, I don't remember what it was called. Was it? Like, the, was there's it? like, um, like, You're the One or whatever on Greta Van Fleet's album. There's just um, so many of these that I just can't figure out where they're all from. I think that's the one that I said was my... My favorite, other than when the curtain falls. The acoustic-y stuff sounds just like, um, I think it's, is it called The Only Way? Led. I've listened to only Led Zeppelin and Greta Van Fleet this week, and my brain is going to melt. I'm not mad about it, (laughs) but my brain is going to melt, so... And like, there's there's a whole playlist on Spotify. I'm listening to the This Is Led Zeppelin thing, and I'm just like, I'm I'm like, a crazy person like on my computer, like like listening to comparisons with my eye twitching and my phone like next to my ear, and I'm like, mm, that sounds like this. Type type type. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I need. Yeah, I'm to like know. itching, and I'm like, what does this sound like? <laughs> They've got to be lying. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think. Do so you know I'm such a weirdo about song length? Mm-hmm. I understand that classic rock has a lot of long, like classic rock from the 70s and 80s has a lot of long songs. Mm -hmm. Stairway to Heaven, eight (laughs) minutes and three seconds. (laughs) Just, yeah, any Bohemian Rhapsody is like fucking, what is that, like five minutes and 30 seconds? Big long boy. Yeah. Um, Their songs are between three and six minutes, Greta Van Fleet's. And they don't deserve to be that long. Mm-mm. I wish that I, I wish that I could remember song names enough that I could tell you what 
I'm sure there's some YouTube video somewhere that's like side by side of, <laughs> of the two bands yeah, because really I be. there's just so many Zeppelin songs that I don't think. Also, oh my! Oh, do you want to hear my fun fact? Yeah. So, is is this the band? So my dad ran into a band at a bar and talked to them, and I really want to say that it was Led Zeppelin, but I don't remember. But my, my dad's also met everyone um but my other fun fact is he told me that they got their name because they took a song i don't remember which song it was to a record label and played it for them and the producer said are you kidding like this is terrible this is going to go over like a led zeppelin that's how they got their name wow the end okay come back next week (laughs) so I'm reading, currently reading a Rolling Stone article titled Rock and Roll's Anxiety of Influence, which, look at this picture, please. You should screenshot that, and then I'll insert it here. Okay. Look at this picture, please, guys. Here it is. There goes that. I, they're trying so, they're imitating. They are not... They're not trying. They're not drawing influence from. They are imitating, and then trying to say that they're not imitating. Mm-hmm. Just say that you are. We're not stupid, you know. Like we. So this is an excerpt from this article. Quote: It's a primitive, instinctual thing for people to take one thing and create parallels to better identify with something they don't initially understand. Greta Van Fleet guitarist Jake Kishka recently told Re- Rolling Stone. Quote, I find myself being guilty of that as well. Throughout listening to an entire song, I'll hyperanalyze it and say, it kind of sounds like that, kind of sounds like this. And by the end of that song, I've beaten it to death. You're just... I want him to not. Yeah. That's, that's just, that's just, I know I've said it like a million times already. I just wish that they would just admit it. Because I think people are mad for the same reason. That you're not being like, yes, we are a tribute to, to them. I think that's why people are so upset. Because yeah. nobody has a problem with tribute bands. Because no. they're like, we're a tribute band to this. Yes. You know? I saw, I saw an Eagles tribute band once called Hotel California. <laughs> so weird. I was just like, well, my dad takes me to a lot of concerts. They opened it for Sticks, okay? Okay. And I'm just there. Like... Is it a hair? I don't like the Eagles very much. So as you can imagine, I really didn't enjoy it. You but you super know what? Do it. what you do. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's the thing. It, it's it's the fact that they are not admitting to it and acting ignorant. Like, guys, we know. We know. We're not dumb. So I think it's time to talk about Pitchfork. <laughs> Pitchfork oh fucking... Destroyed. Roasted them. Absolutely shredded. They gave them a 1.6, <laughs> which is the to this day the lowest pitchfork rating I have ever seen. And I want to read the initial sentence, the first sentence of this article. Greta Van Fleet sound like they did weed exactly once, called the cops and tried to record a Led Zeppelin album before they arrested themselves. I'm going to tattoo that on my ass. (laughs) They also call them a fever dream of an actual rock band. And I've never been happier with a statement in my entire life. (laughs) Oh, God. Did you hear that crack? I hope hope everyone did. I am so upset right now that I just, my whole body just cracked. (laughs) They, oh man, they go in on them. It's so funny. So good. good. Lyrics featuring the kind of self-actualized transcendence brought on by a few too many multivitamins is not (laughs) actually classic rock. I just, whoever wrote this article, I love you. I I love you so much. God. Jeremy D. Larson, senior editor of Rock at pitchfork i fucking love you so good he just roasts them so eloquently throughout this entire thing and then and then and then our boy robert 
turns around and is like, you guys are great. And I'm like, how is this? The simulation has broken into mm-hmm. a million pieces. My, Megan made another good point, though. She's like, I feel like, you know, like Jimmy Page and Robert, they're not mad because they, too, ripped off hell of people. Well, <laughs> that's like a, but, it's a rite of passage in classic rock to rip off other bands. Uh-huh. Every rock band has ripped off another rock yeah, band. exactly. But not as blatantly as this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, That's the thing. yeah, you do guys, it. everyone fucking does You it. guys, every song is going to sound like another song that exists somewhere. It's impossible to not let that happen. Yes. But these guys are not subtle enough for me to believe, to believe it. Yeah. To believe that this is something that's their own. I don't believe it. I love, I don't. At least Zeppelin knew how to separate their sweet lady I'm horny songs from their howling about literally, literary fantasy songs. <laughs> Hilariously, Greta Van Fleet combined them into one on The Cold Wind, where the narrator, who was dying, begs his sweet mama to take the family ox, I guess, to town to sell it when mid-ox trans- transaction this happens. The Yankee peddler bargains with you on his way. Whoa, sweet mama's gotten herself a new dress. It's just like, when I'm listening to it, I'm like, this is good. And then you analyze it, and you're like, oh, this is bad. The, the fever dream part is right. Because at first you're like, yeah. And then you're like, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. This is all just a big, like, it's really, truly a roller coaster of an all album. Of Greta Van Fleet is a ball of fire, and I don't really mean that very nicely. Yeah. Not like like sweet balls of fire. I mean, like, everything is on fire. What what do we do? It's a dumpster fire. Yes. But a good one. Like, I'm mad because I enjoy listening to it. I and I'm, all week I've been like, when the curtain falls, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, stop it now. This is not good. <laughs> but then I'm, and then, I, and then I'm like at the gym and I'm like, you know, I went to the gym yesterday and I went on the elliptical for seven minutes and I stopped. Anyway, for those seven minutes, I listened to one Greta Van Fleet song. <laughs> I, it was Age of Man. Uh, this is a sad day. Oh. Sad day in the neighborhood. Rest in peace. I have 13 messages on my computer because I've been... Well, Chris, <gasps> I feel Chris and Evan are both messaging us about yeah. Post Malone. Um... Under that that shit I don't like on our document here, I put all of it and none of it. I just, Mm -hmm. I am still so neutral about it, but I'm also angry. Mm -hmm. So I'm not mad about the music itself. No, I'm mad at the band. That doesn't make me mad. I'm mad at them as people. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, you're being little shits and you're trying to take stuff as your own. Stop it. And I don't want to give them an excuse, but they're between the ages of 19 and 22. So they're obviously ignorant little shits. Yeah. Which is exactly how old we are, but still. But they're dumb boys. They're dumb boys. We're educated women. Yes. Who are very authorized to be reviewing music. Because I know a lot... About I have seventeen thousand of my own albums, so I release a new song every hour. So <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm constantly recording myself and just putting out the audio of me doing everyday things. Yeah. This morning I wrote a song called "Gonna Fry Me an Egg." <laughs> I stood in the kitchen. Can I? I gotta stand up. I want to do it. Okay. This this is turning into a shit show. Hope I don't go off back in the turning stage. into. Yeah, well, I went, <laughs> you can't see my legs, but I went, like, my knees like this, and I went, go to fry me an egg, fry me an egg. <laughs> and I did it for, like, three minutes, and Megan just stood there, <laughs> and then she goes, also, Megan tried to ask me a question today, but she wasn't, like, looking at me, she was, like, kind of looking just past me, and she was like, when are you leaving? And, you know, I'm mid, fry me an egg, <laughs> fry me an egg, so I just kept going, and then she goes, when are you leaving? And I went, are you talking to me? <laughs> She's like, yeah. And I'm like, look at me. She goes, I was. I said, you were looking, no, you were looking right past me. You were not looking at me. <laughs> and then the whole time I'm frying me an egg, frying me an egg. And then I sang about how I ate my last piece of vegan cheese. Oh. Well, I'm so, yeah. happy for you. Thanks. So I am authorized to have these opinions. And that's why. That's why. Yeah. I did all that to tell you why I am allowed to say these things. If we have advice for you, after all of this, it's read the Pitchfork article. 
because it is worth it. Mm-hmm. We should also, I'll link, I'll link the other article. It's from Pop Matters, uh, written by Chris Con, Connaton. I can't say anything. Connaton? Connaton. Connaton. Also this picture, yeah. Yeah. They all have long hair, and then one has long-ish fuzzy hair. I'll link. I'll link that. I gotta make. I gotta make notes of what I gotta remember. The link at the bottom because I fuzzy don't. hair. Yeah, <laughs> really, my beard. I mean, not same. I have fuzzy hair too. So it's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I interrupted our advice. Your advice. Read the Pitchfork article. Listen to the album. Listen to Led Zeppelin. Listen to Rush. I guess. Um, <laughs> just for just do it because you should. Yeah. You know, they're good. Let us know what you guys think. Because yeah. I feel like there are a lot of opinions to be had about this album and then a lot of other opinions to be had about Greta Van Fleet. Yeah. Here, um, here's the thing. I mean, all press is good press, I guess. Yeah. You know, when they're getting it, that's for damn sure. So. Do you think they're sitting at home crying like, nobody likes our music? Nah, they're probably high most of the time. I would say. They've only done a weed once. Chris, is that a is weed? That a weed? I mean, they probably done a weed once and they still feel like they're high months later. <laughs> they're like, who knows? <laughs> We're high on the hatred and controversy. God. Yeah, they probably, God, they is. look like the people who don't give a shit about it. They're like, yeah. I don't care. I'm going to do what I they're want. They're a bunch of little punks from Michigan, so I can't yeah. imagine they have a whole lot on their minds. Yeah. Um. <laughs> God. God dang. <laughs> They're from Michigan. They're so stupid. <laughs> They're just up there cold. What else do yeah, they have to do than play Led Zeppelin music? Me about to move to Michigan. You, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a little punk from Michigan. I am going to be a punk from Michigan. And I'm going to be mad because I'm about to be cold all the time. I'm going to change your name in my phone to Little Punk in Michigan. Yeah. you got to wait, move. though. you got to wait a couple more months. Yeah, as soon as you move. If I even get a... If, I mean, we're going to go there. I mean, I'll get a job somewhere. Yeah. If I have to, I'll be a barista, I guess. But <laughs> that's all right. Who you knows? can do it. Maybe I'll just still work here <laughs> remotely. <laughs> still an intern at my old school. Okay, anyway, continue. <laughs> so I think it's time to wrap this up. Yeah, it's been a long time. Oh. So interact with us on Twitter. Let us know what you guys think of this album. We can make um, I think it's really great. Like the music itself is good. The lyrics are trash. The band is a dumpster fire. <laughs> I don't know anything else because, like, why would I? <laughs> uh, like our shit on Instagram. Look at our Facebook if you want. Like our shit on the Instagram that I'm locked out of. Currently. <laughs> I've been posting some really shitty meme, like, tweets yeah. and memes on our Instagram story. Yeah. I think they're funny. You might not. That's up to you yeah. to decide. You don't have to watch it, but it would be good if you did. It you would don't make your have to better. hurt my feelings, but you can. It's yeah. fine. Insta- um, Instagram kicked me out of all the accounts that I ran, and I only remember the password for the personal one, so currently, I'm just here doing the thing. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Watch us talk to you on our Instagram or on our YouTube channel. Um... You can find us on SoundCloud, Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Overcast, all of the above. Music Monday Cast. Music Monday Cast. It's It's pretty simple. You guys know the drill. Um, We also have our Friday Faves playlist where we each choose our favorite song off the album. Plus, we both choose four songs that we enjoy that week. um, And we put 10 new songs on this playlist every week. It's very long now. 220 songs. Very much minutes and hours very much minutes we have very much minutes of much music <laughs> ding dong um, ding the dong. music's here we have much minutes um um next week linking that sorry i'm thinking you should about. do that I will i'll put that in the description if i we also remember. tweet it out and put it on facebook every week so but you guys just look, have the link you'll in find it you. somewhere just go find it yourself god <laughs> <laughs> next week we're talking about somebody that i love courtney barnett in her album sometimes i just sit and think and sometimes Can i, I just it, sit I'm gonna put it in the circle yeah over my head just like right here it's very small <laughs> <laughs> uh she's really cool she does have a newer album that she released in 2018 i don't like it as much so we're not talking about that one we're talking about the one that i like i don't like it much i'm on my new one <laughs> sorry <laughs> 
I got such a burst of energy on my coffee is finally kicking in. Also, it's that egg that I fried. Oh, you fried me an egg. I'm going to punch you in the throat. <laughs> Do it. I, I deserve it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Is that it? Are we done? That was this episode. We talked about the album the, the album entire the time. time. Minus the egg part. I'm proud of us. Go us. Because oh, it's, it's because and don't forget to vote. Vote. If you don't vote, I'll know. <laughs> I'll know. And I'll block you from everything. Gonna go vote. Gonna, Gonna go, go vote. vote. Fry you an egg and then go and vote. I'll be, 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 be. See you next week. At, right before you vote. Have Bye. a musical Monday, you guys. And also... Vote. <laughs> okay, okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>